lot of the fisheries that we're fishing these days, um, it requires us to get out into the water, you know, whether you're feeder fishing, a lot of the feeder fishing venues that we fish, by their very nature, because we're fishing at range a lot of the time, it's very shallow close in, and obviously you need some water in your keep net as well, and we just find ourselves a lot of the time being out in the water. That obviously still applies when you're pole fishing as well. A lot of pole anglers certainly go to Ireland, a lot of natural venues. It's better to be on a platform because obviously it gets you up off the water as well, but it get, because you've got a platform, it allows you to go further out so you can get more depth on your pole line. It can give you a massive advantage. This is the latest version of the Duralite platform, and it's a platform I've you know been using for the last year or so. Um, it's a fantastic design. You know, everybody's been raving about it. And what we've done is we've actually looked at the design and we've actually gone one step further and improved it even further. As the name suggests, it's a Duralite platform, which means it's incredibly light, very, very stable. And like I say, I've used mine on venues, you know, all over the country, all over England, and certainly over in Ireland as well, where the terrain is quite, um, it can be very unforgiving at times. Um, this is the latest version, like I say. And what we've done is we've, we've made a couple of improvements to it, which I'm sure you'll all think have made a very good and successful product even better. One of the key advantages is this new version comes with markings on it now, where you can simply, when you're first setting your box up, like I am doing right now, when you're setting the platform up, you can set it to the exact right um, distance because these markings show you exactly where to position the cross sections, which obviously saves you a lot of time because let's face it, on some of these natural venues, you're setting a lot of kit up and if you can make any task that's gonna make you able to set up quicker, then obviously it's going to make everything much, much easier. The, set, the markings on here are markings so that depending on which box you've got, which matrix box, there's a marking for each, um, each box on there, clearly labelled. So depending on what box you've got, it will allow you to set it up at the exact right distance right from the outset. This version has also now got two spirit levels on. They're a slightly different design, much more robust, and they're actually built in built into the, um, into the frame itself and there's one at the front and one at the back because obviously when you're going to be spending a few hours on your platform out in the water you want everything to be obviously stable but you obviously want it level as well and that's going to allow you to do that so um, like I say one of the other improvements that we've made is we've actually got holes now in these cross sections now so the older version, obviously there was air in there and it, it, you know, it wasn't quite as stable as what it could have been. We've gone even further now and put holes in here, so that's going to stop it filling up, uh, stop it being full of air and, you know, which could make it a little bit more buoyant. So it's going to be really rooted to the ground. Um, the legs are the same and obviously everything packs away really, really nicely into this bag again. All that has been kept the same because, you know, it's such a good feature and that's exactly what we wanted to keep on this version. One of the, the other issues that a lot of people overlook as regards using a platform, and it's certainly something I overlooked when I first ever went over to Ireland and started fishing these wild venues, was on a lot of these venues, because they are so open and wild, like a lot of the venues are that we fish, even here in the UK, they can be prone to, uh, and very susceptible to the elements. Because you've got large expanses of water in front of you, some of the venues, certainly in Ireland, and certainly some of the venues here in England as well, you might have hundreds and hundreds of yards of water, sometimes even miles of water in front of you. When the wind really gets up, you've got all that wind coming at you, and it's obviously driving waves towards you as well. I fell for this the first time I went to Ireland, and I just used, because the S36 seat box is so sturdy on its own, I just used that and fished off that. But what I was to find out at my peril was that when these waves are hitting you whilst the, that sort of box is incredibly stable and always has been i was too low and that's because you've got waves like this coming and hitting you sometimes even bigger they're affecting your side tray because last thing you want to do is have a wipe out from a wave that's going to wipe all your bait out and what i'd obviously overlooked is that i needed to be higher off the water and that is exactly what something like this enables you to do it gets everything up off above the waves so that your roost and your reels, because if you've got using a roost, then your reels can obviously um, get covered with water as well. And obviously you don't want to go losing the bait off your, off your bait tray as well. So by having a platform like this, 
it's going to enable you to position yourself higher up off the water whilst keeping that stability that you need for both feeder fishing and pole fishing when you set out in the water.